Passion, performance, and possibilities are hallmarks on which the internationally based company operates and among the countries to which they outsource business is Antigua. Upon entering the facility, one thing stands out. There is a wealth of young minds which are engaged in running Alorica, formerly EGS. Michelle Warner Morris is the company's general manager here in Antigua. She discussed the main focus of the company. We merge EGS and Alorica together and our aim and mission is to provide excellent customer service one person at a time. And it is indeed a pleasure for us here at the Antigua site to be able to recognize that day as well. Our aim and plan is to expand for 2017 as we grow our numbers, taking persons, training them and providing excellent customer service to our clients. With young people making up the majority of the workforce, they spoke of the opportunities being made available for their peers. My name is Belinda Drago. I do work here at NCO Financial. Alorica, that's our new name right now. Um, being, working here has been me like to be more professional in customer service. I know how to say thank you and may I when I'm supposed to. My name is Sabria Phillip. I've been working here at Alorica for seven months. It is a lovely experience because I do enjoy working with other customers. It's my passion, helping with customer service, and I would in, like invite anybody to come and work here. Currently, as they do several times each year, the organization is on a mass recruitment drive, and that is where operations manager Carol Richardson comes in. It is indeed uh, an exciting opportunity for us. It is an exciting occasion where we are rebranding our site to the Alorica brand. Um, at this time, I would like to invite persons who are seeking employment to come in at any time and visit us um, as well. Our website, www.nco.com slash careers. You can apply online or feel free to walk in and we will do your interview on the spot. Alorica has 17 years of experience in Latin America with operations in 17 locations across nine countries. This is Aisha Caleb reporting for ABS News.